This Jesus of Nazareth so he could destroy the temple and build it up in three days. Can you believe that? This is utter blasphemy. He calls himself the Christ, the Son of God. Mm, we must not tolerate this insolence. We can't do that. This is not good at all. No. This is blasphemy. Utter blasphemy. High priest. High priest. There's this Jesus of Nazareth talking about he's the Messiah. What are you guys gonna do about it? We must judicate and try him yes, for priest. this high treason and crime. Come on, Jesus. Shame on you, liar. Talking about Jesus of Nazareth. Crucify him. Crucify him. You've committed Jesus. blasphemy. You're guilty of death. Take him away. Yes, give him more of us. Give us more of us. Give us more of us. Crucified, 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 crucified him. Give him more of us. Deserve it. Shame. 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 Shame
do not be afraid. For I know that you are looking for Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here. He has risen, just as he said. Come and see the place where he lays. Then go quickly and tell the disciples he has risen from the dead. He's alive! He's alive! Thank you, Lord. Thank you. There is power in the blood. Power, oh my God. Power, 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 power in the blood. Let me write that down because there's so much power in the blood. I want to teach you a new song, a new word today. I know some of you learned a new song today called Power in the Blood, but I, there's a word that I want to teach you today, and it's called panacea. Did anyone hear of that word before? Panacea. I raise a hands if you know what a panacea is. Praise the Lord. So it means a cure for all, a cure, a cure for everything. I want to suggest to you that the blood of Jesus is the panacea. I know it sounds far-fetched, but there is power in the blood. There is power in the blood, and not only is there power in the blood, but you are light and salt. What does this mean that you are salt and you are light? This is what I want to talk to you today. Panacea, power in the blood, and salt and light. You see, the world is mocking Jesus. Just like they did on stage here today, the world is mocking Jesus. Let us do our part not to be of this world, but, be to, the, to, but to be the light and salt that God called us to be. Salt seasons, light shines the way in darkness. In Matthew 5, verse 3, it says, You are the salt of the earth. But if the salt loses its saltiness, some of you lost your saltiness. But some people here, I know you are still salty. If the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? If you lose the very flavor and essence of, of who you are as a Christian. How could you be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are also the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. That's you, a light to the world. Now, nor does anyone light a lamp and put it under a table. They put it on a, light, a lamp stand and it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light shine, hallelujah. This little light of mine, that's the song, this little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine, I'm gonna let it shine. I'm gonna let it shine. Let your light shine before men in such a way that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. Hi, my name is Delicia B. Davis, and I love to read. The latest book I'm reading is called Get Out of Your Cage by Simone Lloyd. I've seen Reverend Simone all over the community inspiring people through events and programs, and one thing that inspires me the most is reading chapter 28 in this book. It's all about the Buy Faith credit card, which is really just a way to use the power of your faith to pay it forward and reach the highest of heights in your personal and professional life. It even comes with the I Can Candle. This soy massage candle smells amazing. 
and reminds me that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Get yours. Do you love candles? Try the I Can Soy Massage Candle. It comes in four divinely scented fragrances. By Faith, Heal, Aspire, and Love Me. Get yours today with any size donation. 888-312-2016 or log on to www.simonelord.org. Don't fall by the wayside, people. If it feels like you are being used and trampled, remember there's a man named Jesus and he died for your sins. He died to set you free. As a matter of fact, he died so that you could have a real life. He died to give you an abundant life by the blood of the lamb, by the blood of Jesus. His blood was shed on that cross for you, for you, for you so that you can have an abundant life. Don't let that blood shed on the cross be in vain. Don't be careless with this life that you have. Don't be careless not to shine your light. You were given a light, it's called life, and you ought to be letting it shine. You ought to be showing the world your light. You ought to be the salt. You ought to be salty, flavoring up your community. What does it mean to be like salt? You know, I have a meetup group. It's called, I call the people in the group. It's, the group is called Not Just Church. And I call the members salt and light. Now, what does it mean, salt and light? What does this mean? It means that you are making a difference in the community. It means that you are changing society by your very essence, by your very being. You have that power to make a change, to transform the whole world. But some of us, we've lost our saltiness. We've lost our flavor. Praise the Lord, and it's time to get it back. This is the day to get it back. Today, I've come to proclaim the good news that Jesus Christ is Lord and that he is risen and that it's time for you to reclaim all that was lost, all the saltiness that you lost, all of it that was trampled underfoot. It's time to regain it. It's time to stand up and be the light that God called you to be. It's time to be the salt of the earth once again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So there's power in that blood. There's power in that blood that was shed for you so you can be free. By his very lashes, you are healed. By those stripes that the soldiers hit him, every single lash, you are healed. He died not only for your sins, he died also for your infirmities, your weaknesses, everything that holds you bound. It could be liquor, it could be drugs, it could be sex addiction, it could be whatever it is. It could be poverty, it could be bad health. Jesus died for these sins, for these, not sins, for these uh, bound, bondages. This is what they are, bondages. He died to break those chains so that if you believe in the power of the blood, you can be set free. Praise the Lord. God spoke to me for the first time in 2003, and I want to tell you that he will speak to you too. You see, I say he, speak to me, he spoke to me for the first time. Maybe he was speaking all along, but I wasn't hearing him. You see, some of you might want to, be hearing, might want to hear the Lord speak to you but you might not be tuned in to the frequency at which he speaks. It's a small, quiet voice, and you hear it in the stillness of the night. So the first time I heard the Lord's voice, he, it went like this. He died for you. And I looked around, and there was nobody there. And it came again, and it said, he died for you. But there was nobody there. I was in Brooklyn at the time, I lived in Brooklyn, and I was wondering, maybe the neighbors are playing some kind of music, but my, my neighbors at that time, you know, they were like some rowdy Jamaicans. 
they wouldn't be playing, he died for you kind of music with just one line. So it, it was the Lord and he spoke to me, he said it again, he died for you. And then I believed and I said, thank you, Father. Thank you for sending Jesus to die for me, to transform me. At that time, my life was hard. I was a single mom and there's a lot of single mom, moms out here. You might be listening right now. He died for you too. He died for all that are suffering. He died for you to set you free. God the Father wants you to recognize your power. Some of you might not think that you have any power, but God wants you to recognize your power. The adversary, the enemy, does not want you to recognize your power. He wants your power to be diluted, weak, non-existent. He wants you to eat unhealthy food. He wants you not to drink enough water so you can wither up and die. Did you know that your brain is made up of 75% water? You absolutely need a lot of water. Why you need all of this water? The reason you need the water is so that it could cleanse your body, your liver, your kidney, your brain, every part of your body, your blood, needs water to revive itself. Praise the Lord. We are sick, a lot of us are sick because of dehydration. And we go to the doctors and they give us expensive medicine and they want us to come back and we get hooked on the medicine. Water, drink more, drink more water so that we can be healthy, so we can, if we can eat right, we can be healthy so that we can serve. You see, if we are unhealthy, we are not able to serve in the army. We fall out, the enemy is able to defeat us because we are unhealthy. So we have to get fit in order to serve in this army. In order to serve in the army, you gotta get fit. You got to be able to run. You got to be able to run, go tell people about Jesus. You got to have some holy boldness in you too to wake up and to tell people about Jesus. Praise the Lord. But you see a lot of people, praise the Lord. A lot of people are sleeping. It's time to wake up. It's time to wake up and know that you have some power. It's time to wake up and know that there's power in the blood. Power in the blood hallelujah there's power in the blood it's a panacea it's a pure all for all your ailments for all your diseases for all your weaknesses for all your infirmities he died to set you free are you wasting this power in the blood hallelujah don't waste it every drop is precious praise the lord the enemy wants you to be out there with Tom, Dick, and Harry, Maria, Martha, and Shaniqua, so you could catch all sorts of diseases. Playing Russian roulette with your lives. And the young ones too, the old ones, everybody playing Russian roulette. The reason he wants us to die out like that is so that we don't serve in the army. He's against family, anti-family, don't like family units. He hates family units, does everything to get broken homes and ruin people's marriages. But today, God is calling on some Christians out here to join the army of the Lord. If you hear my voice, wherever you are, however you are, God is calling on you, hallelujah. God is calling on you, he's knocking at your heart. He's calling on you to join the army of the Lord. Christians, it's time to rise up, Christians. It's time to unite. The Muslims are united. The Jews are united. Where are the Christians at? It's time for the Christians to recognize the power in the blood, to recognize that he died for our sins, and to get moving already. Hallelujah. It's time to jump for Jesus. It's time to use your faith. It's time, people. It's time to get up and get busy for the Lord. It's time to serve the Lord in truth and in power. Are you ready to salute the Lord? Are you ready to say, yes, Lord, I will serve you till the rest of my life? Are you ready? See, I'm not hearing anybody saying, yes, Lord. I'm not hearing anybody saying, yes. I'm not hearing anybody saying, yes, Lord. You see, you gotta say it like you mean it. You gotta mean it. You gotta say it with some power. Yes, Lord, hallelujah. I will serve you for the rest of my life. Yes, yes, Lord, I will serve you for the rest of my life. 
You see, people want the glory and they want the honor and they want the Bentley and they want the Mercedes, but they don't want to do the work. The Bible says that the laborers are few and that there's plenty harvest. The harvest is plentiful and the laborers are few. What does that mean? It means you got to get busy, people. It means that too many Christians are sitting down. It's time for the Christians to stand and salute the Lord and say, yes, sir, yes, master. I am ready to serve. Instead, we want to reap all the benefits from the kingdom, the inheritance. We want the inheritance. But we're not ready to serve in the army. So today, you have a day. You are being redeemed today. Today is your day. Like I said, this is your year. This is the year that God has called, called you. He has seen fit to call you to rise up and to hold up that red stain banner. Hallelujah. He is calling on you right now to make a move, to take a stand, to trust the Lord, to join the army of the Lord. This is not my army that I'm imploring you to join. Wherever you are, I want you to call the number on the screen. I want you to call the number. It's 888. Write it down. Take it. Don't sit and pretend that you're not hearing it. God is calling on you. He's calling on the Christians. It's time for a united push. It's time for us to get up off of our butts and start a revolution. It's a Christian revolution because we are the light and we are the salt. It's time for us to flavor up the world and stop being quiet and, and humble, meek, and our voices not being heard. It's okay to be humble and meek, but our voices are not being heard. We are not doing much seasoning up of anything. We are not seasoning up the world. It's time. So if you have a prayer request, I want you to call the number on the screen or send us your prayer request in the mail. The address is on the screen. But it's time for you to rise. It's time for you to stop the suffering. You see, stop the hurt. Stop the blood from flowing. Because Jesus died for you already. He already died. There's no need for you to suffer in silence. There's no need. It's time. It's time to join the army of the Lord. We want you to prosper. God wants you above all things. He wants you to prosper. And this year. Now listen to me carefully. This is the year for your restoration. I'm speaking to you here today, and if you're hearing my voice, this is the year. I want to agree in you, with you in faith by prayer. Send your prayer requests. Call in. Join this army of the Lord. This is your year. If you believe it, I want you to call in and let us know that this is your year, that you believe it, that you feel the call that the Lord is making. This is not my call. This is the Lord's call. He is building an army, people. And he needs all the able-bodied Christians, all the people who are not Christians. He, is, he wants you. Whether you're fat, skinny, sad, depressed, the master has need of you. Whether you're young, old, too cute, too young, the master has need of you. Maybe you're the class clown. The master has need of you. There's something that you have. Your gift. Your particular brand of saltiness. God has need of you. Praise the Lord. Hi, my name is Delicia B. Davis, and I love to read. The latest book I'm reading is called Get Out of Your Cage by Simone Lloyd. I've seen Reverend Simone all over the community inspiring people through events and programs. And one thing that inspires me the most is reading chapter 28 in this book. It's all about the Buy Faith credit card, which is really just a way to use the power of your faith to pay it forward and reach the highest of heights in your personal and professional life. It even comes with the I Can candle. This soy massage candle smells amazing and reminds me that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Get yours.
Get Out of Your Cage is brought to you by Roxanne Simone Lord Ministries. We hope you enjoyed this program. If it has helped you, please call and let us know. We would love to hear from you. 888-312-2016 or log on to our website simonelord.org.